so in that mini trailer guys we are going to be learning the Cardina change one of my favorite color changes out there and it's quite easy to do so yeah but, before, but first I've got three shout outs to um, say first shout out is to James Taljard I really really hope I um, said that name right but um, yeah he has just started on um, YouTube and he's doing really, really well he's got some subs but um, if you guys go and subscribe to him, we really, really appreciate it with him. And yeah, the other one is to Speedbud, another absolutely incredible person. Obviously, he did. He did have another YouTube channel, but then it got taken down, I believe. So yeah, and another one is to um, Cardistry and Magic 101. Very, very cool, good channel. Um, he uses Cardistry, obviously, and Magic Trick as well. Really, really good guy. Make sure you go and subscribe to his channel and tell him I sent you. So yeah, all those three channels will be linked down below. And let's get into the tour. Alright, so this is the card data interchange again. In action, it looks something like this. So you take a random card like this, the nine of hearts, and you make it smidge right there into the six of diamonds, just like that. First thing you need to learn is how to do a double lift. The double lift is, well, a very, very important thing in magic. So make sure we all learn how to do a double lift first before. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold the cards in this sort of grip like this. Now, your pinky finger is going to be pretty much doing all the work here. It's going to be putting the most pressure. So your thumb is going to be right on that edge, right over there, putting pressure down, as if you're going to ripple down the packet like that. But you're not. Your two fingers down here are not going to be doing anything. So, like so. And pretty much this finger and your index finger is going to be on top as well. So it's going to be something like that. Now, what I want you guys to practice first is to do this. Put pressure on your thumb and your pinky finger and hopefully you can get the card to fall down like that. If you cannot do that, then that means either two things, your pinky finger is really, really weak, or, um, yeah, I don't really know the third idea. <laughs> but um, if you can't do it, make sure you have these two fingers here for support if you want, just to make it easier to go down like that. But if your pinky is strong enough, you can do it like that. Unfortunately, I cannot do it, the card need to change with this hand, because my pinky finger, obviously, on this hand was broken if you guys don't remember. So, same grip, like this, pinky index. Practice doing this, just so you can drop the card down like that. That is only step one gun done, guys, that you may be thinking, this is very, very easy. That's the card you change. Oh, Jesus, that's very, very easy. Well, guys, there's more to it, to it. So, we've learned how to do the actual chain, but there's another two things to do. Cover, and also, um, and also the finish up, so we've still got a long way to go. Right, so you're in this position. You're gonna have your position like this with your thumb on the bottom and your three fingers on the side, on the top edge, like this. I think he's not doing it. What's going to happen is you're going to do the change, you're going to do the motion I said to you earlier, okay, by doing that, okay? So pretty much you're going to do that motion like that so you can make it change. So pretty much do the same thing I told you now, let's talk about the cleanup. Double lift, position like that, bang, changes into the six of diamonds. And the cleanup is this card on the bottom. How does that work? So, what you're going to do is once you've done it like that, what's going to happen is your pinky finger is going to, and your, and your these fingers here, is going to move the card down. Now, this hand is going to be covering this and helping support. What you're going to do is you're going to turn your hand like that. So, pretty much that, do the thing, and do the change. Okay, now that, I've done the change, I'm going to move things around like this. So now, obviously this card's down like this. So, I'll go through it again. Do it again, pinky finger, do the change like that. Then, you're going to move it down, let's move it down. So yet again, two cards like this, do your change. Move it down, pretend you've got this hand here to support though, and it's going to move to the bottom, like this. Make sure you square them up as much as you can, okay? so. No one motion, it looks like this, okay? So, do a double left, boom, like this, and there we go. And that is the Cardina change. So that is the Cardina change. I really, really hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. And also like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Make sure you, make sure you check the three shoutouts and they'll be linked down below as well. But until next time though, I'll see you guys in another video. See you later everyone. See you Friday.